Hello everyone, welcome to my technology channel. Today I would like to talk about something very special. I have visited a company called Ponticon and had a look on their 3D high-speed laser gliding machine. Imagine with this machine you can produce additive manufacturing parts with extremely high speed, high precision and almost no heat input to the components. I was very surprised what I saw and I would like to also give you a short summary of our communication and interaction with Tobias who is the CEO of this company Ponticon. I would like to give you an idea what does this technology enables and what type of commercial and also let's say technological advantages this approach of 3D high-speed laser gliding parts can offer to the market. Technology is very new and still requires a lot of industrialization steps but the very first machines are already available and it's very exciting and interesting where the future will bring us. Hello, here's Arkady and I have Tobias with me. He is a general manager Hello, of Ponticon and uh, today we're looking on his new 3D high-speed uh, laser cladding device which is 3D Ella and Tobias maybe you can give a couple of words mm -hmm. what you're doing. Yep. Thank you very much. Um, so what we're doing here is uh, we're having a cylindrical part which we're selectively coating on, on the outside. So uh, by being able switching on the, the laser really fast, we can do those, those kind of shapes without uh, having it arranged in a rotational symmetric uh, setup. So this is how it would look like on the machine and what we're going to see in a second is the work piece doing a movement in the X and Z direction so that we end up with such a geometry and uh, coating on the outside. Tobias, how, how much time do you need to produce this type of uh, geometries on mm -hmm. the surface? So this is a coating thickness of I think a millimeter and um, so if we do those uh, let's say eight um, segments I think it would take us approximately two to three minutes to do those. That's, that's amazing because with conventional laser cladding this would be 20 plus minutes depending of course on the spot size but it would also produce a lot of heat and distortion yeah. might be a question here i believe we have no even signs of heat affected zone yeah so um, that's something we see even with the uh, uh, parts which are much thinner you do not really see the influence of the heat that will be input in part because it's, it's, it's very limited so on such a thickness it's, it's no problem at all and of course that means that you do not affect the underlying uh, material and do not affect the properties so it's a very valuable um, aspect of course to, to do not have the, the heat input. That's amazing. Let's now take a look together what is possible with those components and new technology developments. On that video you can see how the process takes place and what is interesting that we are moving a component and your working head with the powder feeding and the laser stays on the same position. Despite of uh, let's say longer dry runs, due to the high velocity and extremely good powder flow, you still maintain a very high deposition efficiency which is over 90% and at the same time the process can be called cold process because there is almost no heat, heat input to the substrate and I even could not recognize any heat affected zone. As technology is still in R&D phase, here you can see a couple of another examples of more complex geometries of rotation symmetrical bodies, which are all built with extremely fast speed, having a very thin wall thickness, which is below one millimeter, having used aluminum, nickel or iron based alloys and being able to produce components which can have extremely nice and smooth surface, probably avoiding any post treatment. So you can see this is dimensions uh, 80 to 40 and you need 16 minutes to build this type of component with wall thickness around uh, half a millimeter and this is a total height of 180. So this is how the system looks like, a Ponticon system. I also have a CEO of Ponticon, Tobias with me. Hi everybody. 
So what is this one? So uh, this is an Inconel 718 cone. Um, again, very thin walls, approximately 600 micron. Build time for this one, it's a rotational symmetric part, is approximately, let's say, 30 to, to 40 minutes. Wow. Um, so really fast, very smooth surface. This is the S-built condition, so no post-processing. No overheating and you cannot recognize single layers. So it looks as it's almost done from a solid material. It looks like a metal sheet. Yeah. Okay. Good. In the time as we're processing another part, let's take a look on the system itself and get a couple of insights about the weight and dimensions of this prototype machine. So you can imagine for the fast axis you also need certain weight. So the whole weight of this, let's say, medium-sized system with working area of around 800 millimeters in cube is 11 tons. And there is a massive walls to, let's say, compensate the momentos of high-speed accesses. And one of highlights, of course, we have a 350 early con powder feeder with also early con powder in it, which is I extra like. So that's cool. The process just stopped and uh, Thomas lets us in. So it's just finished. You can see how the device looks inside. Uh, fast rotation axis and then really I touch it with my finger. It's really cold. It's like maybe 20, 25 Celsius directly after deposition. You see very nice profile, very precise. And uh, this was done in less than 10 minutes. It's amazing. I hope you have enjoyed this video and have received a basic idea about 3D high-speed additive manufacturing and laser blending technology. I'm also very excited to see how this technology gonna develop and what we're gonna be able to produce with it in next years. Please leave your comments, put your likes, don't forget to follow me and see you with the next technological videos.